So, Sutherland into the attack. Beaumont on strike. History beckons. Two slips, gully, extra. Mid off, deep point. Mid on, deep square leg, long leg. Here's Sutherland. Into Beaumont, who comes forward in defence to a full delivery on off stump. How long are we going to have to wait? How long are we going to have to wait? She's stranded on this to over T. <laughs> oh, it probably is, you know, isn't she? Oh, don't say that. If she plays out of maiden, she might be. <laughs> Goodness me. Right. Beaumont waits in the sunshine. It's now beautiful, perfect conditions for batting. Australia again slowing this down. I wonder if they know. Is that what they're doing? Ball's being polished again. This time by Perry. In comes Sutherland. And Beaumont flashes away and it's run right away down to the boundary for four. And that is the England all-time record. Tammy Beaumont with that four goes for 192. No England woman in any form of international cricket has breached the 190 barrier. She sends Betty Snowball into second place. She sits at the very top of the highest pinnacle in English woman batsmanship. I mean, Tammy Beaumont, how special. What an unbelievable moment, moment in English cricket. 192 not out. So, so close to that 200 mark now. Oh, well, it's extraordinary. I, um, I'll do this one ball while Henry puts his headphones on, or even not do this ball if Henry gets his headphones on. Thank you very much, all of you. I'm feeling very emotional. <laughs> I do need a period of adjustment, and I'm going to go and lie down. That, that felt big, didn't it? It did. It was a, it, we built it up, and it took forever. I know. And it didn't disappoint. No, I was meant to be on 15 minutes ago, but we had to give, we had to give Daniel the moment. Yeah. We couldn't not, blimey. I mean, this is cricketing history. I mean, top of the pile for Tammy Beaumont. 200 not out last week, retired. I hope she doesn't retire out this week if she gets 200. Oh, England needed to go on. A huge, huge effort from her. Incredibly special talent and incredibly special innings. <laughs> so that record has stood for, what, 88 years? Wowza. Betty Snowball's 189 at Christchurch against New Zealand back in 1935. She would have taken the boat out there. Just when you look at that list of people, Jan Britton, Heather Knight, Claire Taylor, Siva Brunt, Re Rachel Hayhoff Flint, there's some unbelievable cricketers on that. Henry and Alex, let me take you back to Christchurch in 1935. Oh, can you? This is... Take me all the way back. New Zealand batted first in the test match. They were all out for 44. All out for 44? All out for 44. <laughs> Who were? Australia. New Zealand. Out. New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand, forgive me. Um, I, I need would, to ask how many Myrtle took. Well, they'd be happy with that 44. They were 16 for seven. <laughs> right. <laughs> what a test match that'd have been. Myrtle McAgan, 14.2 overs, six maidens, five for 22. Now we're talking. England in reply. Myrtle McLagan made 26. Molly Hyde, 110. Betty Snowball, as we know, 189 as England made. 503 for five. In response to 44. Led. Yes. A solid first innings lead. And New Zealand, second innings. All out for 122. One for 35 for Myrtle McLagan, but it was from 24 overs, so she was nice and economic. I'm intrigued by... Absent hurt for Ruth Simmons, the captain of New Zealand. I wonder what the story was there. Just to finish that game then from Christchurch, where Betty Snowball held the previous high score in the women's test for England. England won that game by an innings and 337 runs. That must be the biggest win in women's test history, surely. Look. Thank you. I just find there's something so romantic about cricket in that era. Mm, me too, me too. You can imagine you'd get telegrams with details of the score, and I imagine it would say, Snowball, stop. 189, stop.